think I'm going to find a little insight into one of my sort of uh, switch my brain off hobby. Really enjoying this puzzle. It's actually bigger than what I wanted in so many pieces. But I'm finally feeling like I'm making progress with it. And I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing because yeah. I've progressed with the puzzle and especially one that's larger. For me, I mean, I prefer the smaller ones that I can just do, you know, in a few seconds, really. <laughs> it's just more satisfying than, you know, agonizing over finding bits and bobs. So what I thought was interesting is that a puzzle is kind of like a metaphor for life. Sometimes when I'm looking for a piece, what I notice is that the piece was always there, but it only fit when other pieces around the spot I was searching for had been completed. The same with life. You know, sometimes we're waiting for something to kind of fall into place. So we've been working towards something, wondering why it isn't working. And then suddenly we meet someone or we hear something, we read something and something clicks and we go, oh, right. So that's the way I need to do it. That's the insight I was looking for that actually now makes all of this make sense. Right. So in other words, in life, just as in puzzles, Sometimes you can't really see what you're doing until other pieces fall into place. The other thing that I thought was an interesting kind of metaphor is that sometimes we get too close to things. I find that when I sit down and I look, sometimes you do need to look up close and I'll take a seat and look at the detail. And this particular puzzle, this brand is just amazing. I love them, they're Ravensburg. They make the most exquisite puzzles, right? Sometimes you need to look closely and look, you, you can even see the writing on this package and it's just stunning. Other times you do that and after a while you just get googly eyed and you realize that when you stand up, when you take a step back, just as in life, you take a step back and you think, oh gosh, I never saw that before. Mm looking at this piece and looking at it upside down and then you turn it the right way around and then suddenly boom you've got movement again you've got progress again same with life sometimes we have to take a step back and think okay i've been looking at this all wrong i need to change my perspective entirely and suddenly you have movement again suddenly something makes sense or you realize you need to change tack you need to pivot and then you have movement again. You hit roadblocks with puzzles, or I do anyway. I'm going along nicely, and then I think, oh, crumbs. You know, I've got this whole section to do where it's full of flowers and they all look the same. <laughs> then you take a moment to just look a bit more closely and you realize that actually they're not all the same. So for example, you see that? It's got tinges of white on that, whereas this piece hasn't, right? And you start to notice detail that actually allows you to make better decisions about where they're likely to go. Same with life. Sometimes we have to look closely and really kind of investigate something. And other times to know when to kind of laser focus, you need to know when to step back, just chill and just relax and trust that the pieces are there, you will figure it out. Things will fall into place. <laughs> Finally, my loves, I had a really interesting uh, time with this chunk of the puzzle. You can see that it's quite intricate. It's actually a door. That's what it looks like on the um, actual puzzle in, in perspective with everything else. There's tons of detail because of the way the, the light is shining on it. You see, there's a bit of uh, variation in the, the way the light, you know, it's just uh, so stunning to me the way they've made this. But you know what I did? I actually thought to myself, okay, let's be smart about this figure out all the pieces per section, separate them out and then label them. I put, I put them in little pouches, labeled the pouches. It's gonna make my life so much easier when I come to do it. All the pieces for this section will be together. Well, that's all great in theory, except that <laughs> what actually <laughs> happened was that I started that segment and got so far and then I was scratching my head because I couldn't find tons of pieces in this section right and i couldn't figure it out and what i'd actually done i'd actually forgotten that i'd separated out one of the envelopes and i was not even looking in the right place for you know what i needed <laughs> as with life how often have you done that 
like even on a simple level guys how many times have you put something in a safe place to realize that you know later you think oh my gosh where did i put that thing in a so-called safe place that i now can't remember <laughs> i think there's something really funny about that we can try and you know give ourselves a head start with things we can try and plan but we can try and organize ourselves, but we also have to surrender to the fact that there's always room for the unexpected in life. You know, we don't have control over absolutely everything. We sometimes forget, you know, we're human. We forget what we've done. We forget where we've put things. And we just have to take a breath and have a giggle at ourselves and recognize that sometimes delays are there for your good. So although it was really frustrating not to be able to find the pieces for this door, I just couldn't get it because I thought I'd been so careful. <laughs> um, ultimately, you know, I think it's a lesson sometimes in slowing down and that's really the ultimate gift that I think that you get, um, you know, particularly a larger puzzle. Can you do puzzles? Let me know in the comments below. Is this like a kind of, elementary for you 1500 pieces maybe it is for some look at the theme of it isn't it adorable love letters chocolate shop i mean it's just perfect there's even a cat in there like billy rose how cute is that anyway i would love to hear from you guys what do you think about the life lessons in this video all from a puzzle you know have you ever thought about that there's so much in life that gives us little gifts if we pay attention. And I would love to know if any of you guys are geeks like me and actually enjoy doing a puzzle every now and then. All right, my darlings, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. See ya.